hurricane season 2025 has arrived. Soon the Atlantic will come alive. For the next six months, coastal residents will remain on guard. At any moment, the oceans could swing from peaceful to predatory. This year they're saying it's going to be busy. We don't know for sure, but you know what? A busy season can have everything offshore and a slow season can have one big hurricane hit your town. So bottom line is always be ready. Meet Josh Morgerman. He's been inside more hurricanes than anyone else on the planet. He says the time to prepare for a hurricane is long before one even forms. And I say, just get the, get the essentials out of the way right away. Get those cases of water in your house. Don't wait. Get those extra gas tanks. If you go to the big stores right now, there's a gazillion of them. As soon as there's something approaching the U.S., those are going to disappear. So do those easy things now. A typical hurricane season averages 14 named storms. But the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is calling for an above-average season. They expect 13 to 19 named storms including 6 to 10 hurricanes and 3 to 5 major hurricanes. Colorado State University projects similar numbers. They also anticipate an above-average season. But unlike previous seasons, we don't have an obvious El Nino or a La Nina pattern heading into the summer. It's more like a neutral situation going off in the eastern Pacific. My radar hurricane specialist Dr. David Rublicki says he's had to turn to other predictive metrics to assess how this season's potential may shape up. He agrees with Noah, who writes they're expecting a wetter African monsoon, meaning more robust tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. Those are the seeds of hurricanes. And it also looked like it looks like there's a uh, Atlantic meridional mode, and all that really means is temperature difference. This is kind of like the Atlantic's version of El Nino, where it's cold water to in that uh, area of Africa along the equator, and then warmer water as around 10 to 20 degree north, where the African easterly waves come off the coast. If the waters are warm enough, African easterly waves can mature into tropical depressions, then tropical storms, and even hurricanes. Since 2017, the U.S. has dealt with major hurricane impacts seemingly every year. Riglicki explained we might be in a busy stretch that could unfortunately last decades. There's a seesaw between convection in the Amazon and convection associated with the African monsoon. And that is your big 30-year oscillation that ties directly to hurricane formation on these longer time scales. So yeah, it exists. It does look like we're in the middle of a sort of a busy phase. If you look at hurricane history going back to 1850, you'll notice these long-term sort of multi-decadal cycles where the U.S. will go a couple of decades where we kind of get off easy, nothing much happens, and then we have a couple decades where we're just getting wailed on again and again. Unfortunately, right now, it looks like we're in the midst of one of those busy phases, and that's why we've had devastating hurricane seasons. I mean, basically every season since 2017 has had terrible U.S. impacts. I believe we're still in that phase, and we all have to just really be just vigilant and ready because I think um, I think it's going to be a while before we come out of this busy phase. Are there any signals that point to certain parts of the basin being more active this year compared to previous years or any sort of hot spots you're keying in on? It's the Gulf. You always have to worry about the Gulf. These landfall situations about something just spinning up out of nowhere like Milton. Really, Milton was just a leftover system, I believe, of like a low pressure and something had drifted down off of the uh, Mexican mountains last year and then at, went the wrong way. It went west to east, which is a little unusual. So again, it's that Gulf of Mexico, which you really have to pay attention to anywhere on the Gulf Coast. And last year we had Helene, for example, and Helene did a lot of its damage up in North Carolina, but it did make landfall in Florida. Milton made landfall in Florida going back to 2020. We had that big year around Louisiana and Mississippi. So it's really, the diligence has to be of these random pieces of something that get left behind by fronts either early or late in the season that can spin up to something and usually later in the season because the Gulf of Mexico is so warm. Colorado State University estimates a 51% chance that a major hurricane hits the U.S. this year. Now, there's no telling just how far through the 2025 naming list we'll get, but whatever happens, your MyRadar team is here. We'll always be keeping you ahead of the storm.
I'm my radar senior meteorologist Matthew Capucci. Follow my radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download my radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.